Hello, Palapa from Samoa. As the Maritime Administration for Samoa, our role is policy regulation and administration of all our maritime activities. It is ensuring Samoa's compliance to international standards on maritime safety, maritime security, seafarers' competencies, and protection of our marine environment. I chose International Maritime Law because of the overlapping issues regarding governance of maritime use, shared ocean resources, and space. That 98% of global trade is being transported by shipping, and the fact that not many women from the Pacific region studied international maritime law. The day for women in maritime is a significant milestone. It is a celebration, recognition, and advancement of what our women in maritime have done, can, and will do. It is changing mindsets and perceptions towards women in maritime to enable an environment of open, fair, and equal access to career progression and academic opportunities. Lastly, I would like to say to all the women in maritime, at sea or on shore, especially our Pacific women in maritime and our Samoa women in maritime, to believe you are the change. Hello, Palava. I'm Ilani Manakini Sarita. I am now working as a deck officer on the MV Lady Mom, functioning under the Samoa Shipping Corporation. I'm 30 years of age. I'm from the villages of Wipa and Popoa. Thank you, Ilani. What is your job at all? Uh, my job, as a deck officer on board, I'm responsible for navigation using electronic instruments, of sea safety equipment, supervision of cargo loading and uploading, updating charts and ships log. You got know, one maritime. Why maritime? Seafaring is conventionally a man's word. Many women fear to take it up as a profession. I don't have captains or sailors in my family. Somehow, maritime life, I always know people speak my mind and running through my wings. My father was a fisherman. And he was the captain on his small fishing boat, who's always been my inspiration. So what is the significance of the day for women in maritime to you? The significance of the day for women in maritime is to commemorate the contribution of women into the seafaring trade and to let the whole world know that gender equality the maritime field is in place. If you have passion for it, go for it. Career in the maritime field is not defined by whether you are man or woman. My name is Zona Paulo Mwafua, 32 years of age from the village of Buleya and a finger. I'm the one who works here at the Samo Port Authority on Tuck Boat as a captain. When it comes to the role of being the first captain, I think it's just a bright thing. I'm proud and honored not only to carry this captain role, but also to hold a little like that it's just an honor. My main task is to operate a vessel, it is Taka Taka, a 121 ton tuck boat that helps maneuver that vessel or be driving through the gen. When I was a teenage girl, I set a goal to become one of the bright women to work on the sea. I got changed to study at the National University of Samoa and that's where I start my gen. I was training in the School of Maritime in 2008. I started working on the Lady Samoa 2 and 3 for 4 years, then got a change to working at Samoa Boat Party. And that's where I start my next step of my life to become a first female captain. A day for women in maritime is important in order to raise awareness of the importance of gender equality and to highlight the, the important contributions of women all over the world. My advice is for all the women of Samoa and all over the world. For me, things I entered the school of maritime is not easy for women, but 
their set goes no pain, no gain. So I encourage all women who are looking to enter the maritime world, please do not give up easily. If there is a will, there is a way. If you struggle, keep trying, because at the end, you will become successful. Once again, so far so far. My name is Geneva from the Feeling Map. I've been employed by Samo Shipping Services for nine years now, and my job involves facilitating the recruitment and selection of seafarers to work on international vessels. Currently, only men are being recruited from Samoa for these jobs on deck, and women being able to do the same in the future would be advancement. So, why maritime? I've been learning a lot about maritime work through my job. And as I progress further, I like to see more women being further proactive and become leaders in this field of work. It's significant to promote equal job opportunities for Pacific women, let alone being able to engage or choose a career in maritime. As we celebrate the day for women in maritime, I'd like to see more support in the advancement of maritime careers for Pacific women. So why not choose a career in maritime? It's our day, your day, for women in maritime. On behalf of the Samoa Women in Maritime Association, I would like to wish all the women in maritime around the world a very happy day for women in maritime. Yemen